What's up guys and welcome back to the shop. In the last video we built the structural frame for the top half of the tent. In this video we're going to apply the uh, plywood skin to that frame. We'll essentially be taking a bunch of cuts of our quarter inch plywood and applying them to the frame using epoxy fillets. We're going to be using the epoxy resin kit that I mentioned at the beginning of the series as being the, the key to success, the most important ingredient. It's what's going to hold this entire upper half of this tent together and make it super strong. Now the frame at this point is actually pretty weak. We need to put the skin on there with the epoxy fillets to give it its strength. Now I got this technique uh, back when I built my first canoe. Um, it was a plywood, it was a small plywood canoe and it was basically held together with epoxy fillets and a little bit of fiberglass. Now I know you're wondering what an epoxy resin fillet is. Just bear with me, I'm going to explain everything you need to know. I'm going to show you how to make those. But for now, I'm going to start cutting our quarter inch plywood down to size. I'm going to start measuring cutting for the middle sections and then I'll work my way around the outsides. Now that you have all your pieces cut to size, we're going to go back through and trim things up just to get things to fit together a little bit better. Now you're probably going to have some gaps. I have gaps, um, but it's not a big deal. Don't worry about that. Uh, that's the beauty of the epoxy fillets that we're going to use to hold this thing together is that it, everything doesn't have to fit perfectly flush for it to work. Um, but you still want to go back through, make sure it looks really nice and clean. And, uh, and then after everything's cut perfect, we're going to staple it to the frame. All right guys, it's time to break out the epoxy resin. Now what we're going to do, we're going to start with the underside. So we're going to gently remove the top of the tent and lay it over on its side very carefully. Once it's on its side, we're going to mix up some epoxy resin and hardener and then we're going to apply it to the bottom side of the tent. Now we're not going to coat the entire bottom side, we're just going to coat inside where two uh, pieces of wood intersect. So let's get our epoxy resin mixed up. All right, we're using these little mixing cups from Boat Builder Central. This is where I bought everything. I got the epoxy, the gloves, paint brushes, mixing sticks, everything. They made it really simple. So let me show you how to use their mixing cups. They have two different ratios on the side of these cups. They have a two to one and a five to one. We'll be using the two to one since that's uh, the mixing ratio for our epoxy. Uh, we're gonna be using two parts uh, resin, the big jug with one part hardener, the smaller jug. So if you look down here, uh, the, you'll stay with the corresponding number. So, so you'll, you'll start with your resin here 
so you'll you'll fill to the one with your resin and then you'll fill from that one to this one with hardener and so that would be a small batch if you want to do a, a bigger batch you'd fill from like you fill to the three with resin and then you would fill from there to this three with your hardener um, so they make that pretty simple but uh, you definitely don't you definitely want to go in order of uh, you know resin to hardener because if you do them backwards then your uh, mixture will be way off so yeah let's get some uh, epoxy mixed up We just finished applying epoxy to the underside of our tent and all the nooks and crannies. The reason we did this is because we don't want to apply our epoxy fillets on uh, dry, like bare dry wood. So we're going to let this get tacky and then we're going to put on our fillet. All right, I want to take a minute and explain what an epoxy fillet is, but I can't put it any better than what this website um, already says. This is epoxyworks.com. They say a fillet is a continuous bead of thickened epoxy mixture applied to the angle created between two parts. It increases the surface area of the bond and serves as a structural adhesive and brace. Filleting creates an effective joint that requires no fasteners of any kind and results in a joint that is strong as the parts being joined together. Basically, once the fillet is cured, it'll be just as strong as the wood itself, kind of like welding. All right, it's time to show you guys how to make an epoxy fillet. This is really simple. We're basically going to do the exact same two to one ratio with our resin and hardener and then we're going to mix in uh, wood flour. This is basically just super fine sawdust that we're going to mix in with our resin and uh, until we get a peanut butter consistency. All right, I'm going to start by mixing our resin and hardener. I'm going to do a pretty small batch just so I'm not uh, wasting any. All right, now that we have our resin and hardener poured, we're gonna mix in our uh, wood flour. This is just like super fine sawdust. We're gonna dump this in. And then we're gonna mix this up until we're at a, like a peanut butter consistency. Now that's what we're going for right here. Where it's not too drippy, it's real thick. We don't we want it to be like a thick paste, just like peanut butter. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get an empty cup and a Ziploc bag. The Ziploc inside here. And then we're going to pour our fillet into the Ziploc bag. We're going to twist the uh, top of the bag off and then we'll cut the tip off. We'll cut the tip off 
and then we'll apply this onto our tent just like we're uh, putting icing on a cake. We just finished applying the epoxy fillets to every crack and crevice on the bottom side of this tent. And we basically made a huge mess, and you probably will too if you're new to epoxy fillets. The stuff gets everywhere, it, you know, it's super sticky. Um, but it's also really important. Like I said, this is welding for wood. Once this stuff cures, it's going to make our tent extremely strong. So I'm going to let this cure for the next 24 hours. We're going to flip it upside down, and then we'll uh, start filling in the uh, top side. I put the top back on the base and let it cure overnight so we should be good to go to start working on the top side. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove all those staples that we use to hold that plywood in place. Cut my finger one of these staples you can see the little blood trail I left be careful taking these things out all right just like we did on the on the bottom side we're going to use epoxy resin fill in our cracks and crevices with with just the resin we're gonna let that get tacky and then we'll come back with fillet material. All right, our epoxy is starting to get tacky, so it's time to start mixing up some more uh, fillet material. Now we're gonna be using the fillet more as a body filler than an actual traditional fillet for strength. Uh, we have cracks and gaps all over the top of this thing that we need to fill. So unlike the underside, we need to be as clean as possible on this top side. It'll just help us out a little bit when, when it comes to sanding. So I probably didn't get a whole lot of that on video. Uh, once you get a bag of filler mixed up, uh, the stuff wants to set up on you quick and it gets really hot. Um, so basically what we did was we just slathered it on, filled all our gaps. If you made a big mess like I did, don't worry, that's what the belt sander is for. That'll make quick work of smoothing all this down. We basically just filled all our gaps. And if you have any extra, go ahead and start filling any little pinholes that you see, maybe uh, from the um, staple gun. So yeah, we're going to let all that set up and uh, move on from there. Alright, all our epoxy fillets are cured. They're super hard. This stuff is just, it's like dry solid as a rock. So I'm gonna, about to hit it with the uh, belt sander, 
try to smooth all this out, make it look nicer. We're gonna do the same up here where I just kind of gooped it on. So yeah, we're gonna hit it with a belt sander and uh, start shaping this thing up. All right, we're done with our sanding. This thing's starting to look really good. I love the shape. Love how it's turning out. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna coat this thing top and bottom with epoxy. One thing I didn't show on camera is that I flipped the base upside down. I filled all my screw holes in and I filled all my little cracks and gaps with um, the fillet material. I didn't show it on camera while I was doing it so I just wanted to show that I did clean up the bottom of this thing, got it all smoothed out and nice and perfect. So now we're going to coat the top and the bottom with epoxy resin. Alright guys, I think this is where I'm going to wrap up this video as I finish coating the top and the bottom of our shell. I think I do about two coats of epoxy here. Um, but I hope you all are enjoying the videos. hope you're learning something. Even if you're not building a rooftop tent, this is still a really great way to add strength to, to any wooden structure, especially if you need to save weight. I know there's a lot of information in these videos and I'm trying to be as thorough as I can, but if you have any questions, like always, please feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. Now I'm going to wait to finish the exterior of our shell later on in the series. In the next video, we are going to get this tent put together. We're going to install the hinge at the front and then we'll start fitting our um, gas struts. So I'll be showing you guys how to calculate what size and strength strut you're going to need for your particular build. So y'all be on the lookout for that. Uh, I just wanted to say really quickly how much I appreciate the support and the kind words. Uh, the comment section has been full of nothing but that and that's been really awesome for me to see. Uh, it's been really motivating me uh, to, to do, the, do a good job on this series and I don't really care about the numbers. I just care that uh, I'm doing a good job so that so that it helps you guys out that really want to build these things. So really appreciate that. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.